like it was yesterday, 16 years ago, <laughs> not yesterday, right? <laughs> I drove from Spartanburg, South Carolina to Greenville every week to attend this open mic. And this young lady named Kimberly Sims Gibbs started this open mic for people like me to have a place to express themselves. And it's been an amazing journey, especially someone who's diagnosed a long time ago with depression. I found it a, a way to, to have an outlet to, 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 to get what I'm feeling out. So I wrote and I performed, and even today it allowed me to, to touch people who may have the same journey, the same experiences. So I'm able to travel the country nationally, about to be international, by the way. But when I travel, I always ask people, and I'm going to ask you the same question. How many of you are poets? Raise your hand. Don't be scared. Okay. Like I figure, it's a few people. But we all are poets. We all are poets. You have the ability to, to speak and write your feelings down. You are a poet. Now, what level of poet you want to be is determined how much work you put in. So, this poem here is for you poets. This is for the poets that go place to place and not make a penny. Who hoping somebody give one for the thoughts, because thoughts are all that poets have to give. So you hope that somebody would at least give you something especially after the landlord hands you an eviction notice. So after stressing, you flip that piece of paper over, scribble some lines, and nine times out of ten, you keep it because you have to deal with both sides of that paper. Now, on one side of that paper, the date, well, you've got to have all your stuff out of that house. But on the other side, is a poem. And not just any poem, but a poem to become the soundtrack to your sanity. Instead of having a nervous breakdown, you broke down your struggles with a pen and sank your sadness and sorrows with a stanza or a sonnet in hopes to make tomorrow a better day. Some say you better pray because having that stress can prey on your soul. So part your soul to a soul that will listen. Go from place to place, empty out your soul and sometimes leave your empty pockets. But you wouldn't trade in that therapy session that some people call reciting a poem for anything in that moment. It's priceless. This, this for all those that don't know that they are poets. And at some point in English class, you flip past the poetry section to section yourself away and say, ooh, poetry ain't for me, or poetry's boring. Those who never seen so soaring in the blue skies, resting on white clouds, wearing a white tee with all whites and a white fitted hat that reads free. Those who never seen themselves wearing that same outfit on a stage or a platform, mic or no mic, only because you never seen yourself. But if you see yourself, you'll free yourself. Instead of repping your hood, you put on a hoodie, write a poem, make a movement. Because once you see somebody giving you their heart, souls are moving. It don't cost that much to do it. Just go down to the dollar store, get a pack of pens and a composition notebook for $2 and some change for a chance to change somebody's life. In that moment, it's priceless. And finally, y'all, this is for me. Ever since I was a fetus in Pearl Rebel's womb, visualizing this day, hoping someone inspired me to write a poem to inspire change in somebody's life, screaming for it to come out, because the only outlet is this poetry when you feel like a penguin without a heart song to your happy feet. Move to the beats and the rhymes of the hopes of having a better day. You write a poem every debt notification, and every feel to the world knows you only owe them the sincerity of your words. And yet early in life, we all thought poetry was boring. But it take you going some things. Putting it down on paper that you've gone some things to make it all worthwhile and your poets. We feel like our poem is worth millions. But till someone give you their last five dollars to purchase your CD because you inspired change in their life despite them being a paycheck away from being homeless. Well, that moment. It's priceless. Thank you.